Does your next experiment involve IGF-1? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against IGF-1. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and IGF-1's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick Facts About IGF-1 Insulin-like growth factor 1, or IGF-1, plays an important role in growth and development. IGF-1 binds to the IGF-1 receptor to initiate signaling pathways. The protein is 195 amino acids long and runs about 22 kilodaltons on a western blot. Topic 2. Where is IGF-1 expressed? IGF-1 RNA is expressed mostly in the liver, but it is also expressed in the bone marrow and lymphoid tissues, the male and female tissues, muscle, and connective and soft tissues. You can find more information on ProteinAtlas.org to check out which cell lines express IGF-1 and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3. IGF-1 in Western Blotting Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that typically one band can be expected in a IGF-1 Western blot at about 22 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about IGF-1. IGF-1 was discovered by Salmon and Dogaday in 1957, though the protein was not termed IGF-1 until 1976. The IGF-1 signaling pathway has been linked with several types of cancer and has been associated with resistance to radiotherapy treatment. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.